What's that? What you did? Nothing. Don't cut that motherfucker off. The air? Yeah, hell no. Don't don't never cut that off. I got a burglar bar around my air knob in my truck. Yeah, we know. Cause everybody wants to uh, go down across here, girl. We ain't gonna hurt you, I promise you. Why not? Shit, that's a nice looking lady. She might want a date tonight. Shit, I wouldn't hurt her for nothing in the world. What about that lady? No, thank you. I could make a lot of cracking out of her ass. <laughs> Hog cracking. <laughs> yeah, shit, that's... I don't like nothing big with money in a Cadillac. Yep. Mm-hmm. Watch this little fella here, because he look like they working him to, just to give him a job. He's kind of slow. Yeah. Look at her. Go help her. Who is that? That lady right oh, there. Oh, yeah. She look like a hemorrhoid about to drop. You better not do that, girl. <laughs> you seen that? Pushing on all them damn baskets? <laughs> she ain't got enough ass on her to stink and pushing all them baskets. I'm trying to feel She gonna show me something. Shit. You got it? Yep. This is the first time I ever been piloted. I usually do all my piloting myself. I'm gonna take the mask off. Oh yeah, but we out the stove. Shit, I keep forgetting. Ooh, goddamn. I got this lady one. I'm gonna hook you up with. No, you ain't. Shit. I don't want nobody that's headed for the uh, graveyard. She in her sixties. Yeah, what is she about the graveyard? What, a, what about uh? About graveyard, my mama. friend. Oh, no, Lord, no, no. You said she was nice looking. She's nice looking, real nice woman for somebody. I just ain't that body. <laughs> she, <laughs> no, thank you. Uh-uh. Every time somebody pick a shade tree for me to lay under, they got a lot of birds and they shit on me. Oh. So, I ain't finna lay down under no tree nobody pick. I'm gonna pick my tree. Mm-hmm. You get a dead tree that don't have that problem. I like, I'm a freak for pretty white teeth and a fresh breath. Yeah, but that mm-hmm. fart though. That fart, she gonna have to do something with that before I get back and don't let me know it happened. You know, but I had a girl one time we was having sex and she farted and she told me, oh, excuse me. I said, don't worry about it. Oh, I got to go. I got to go. She farted did it stink. That's right. I didn't know I didn't have time to try to check out the scent. I was busy. You was busy. But I tell you what. Came straight past sister, her. sister, she, one thing I was glad of, she didn't go down to the sewage line to get it. It was one of them top notch. Off parts. the top, just off right the top. Right off the top. Just yeah. a little a dry air, for it. Little yeah. air pressure. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. I was going to come on here and, you know, just kind of thank y'all for following me and liking my page and stuff like that. And child, I started thanking y'all and then some kind of way I started thanking Oprah and Beyonce and Jay-Z, everybody. I'm like, why are you thanking these people? They don't know you, girl. You know what i Oh, I'm uh, blessed and highly favored. I say bye. Because I know your brains are down in your knees. I'm gone. What they say on her? Yeah, blessed and highly favored. I say, uh, you married? You got a boyfriend? Jesus is my boyfriend. I say goodbye. Because I know your ass, Daffy. Yeah, but I wouldn't, uh, I don't kill a jump rope, though. You know? That ain't my thing, baby. No. I jump ass. Damn that rope. <laughs> yeah, so I've been married for 14 years. <laughs> and I done figured it out. When my husband get home, most of the time, I act like I'm the happiest bitch that ever lived. I'm like, oh, babe, you home, home. Oh, you home. I work from home most of the time. So when he come home, I'm like, oh, yeah, don't get it twisted. I be happy when that motherfucker leave too. <laughs> like shit, when is he leaving? 
I want to do all the ratchet shit. I want to drink all the wine, smoke all the weed, eat all the cookies, the chips, everything. With no judgment. Because when he hear he like, really? You just going to sit there and eat all them cookies like that? Hell yeah. I'm going to eat all this shit. You taking the kids too? Oh, shoot. I'm probably going to go into a diabetic wine coma. <laughs> She wasting her time. She was like, Listen, Arnetta would be dead as hell 10 minutes after I put my hand on Arnetta. Why? She's too old. She can't cut the mustard. Come on, girl, please. I done told you. Come on now. Look, baby, I stay in good shape. I eat good. I sleep good. I get plenty of rest. Take all my vitamins. So, so what's the average age of the woman that you date? At least 27, 28. 30 years old. Well, girl, yeah. I don't believe that. Well, what the, old, what the young woman want with an old man? Money. But what about the ones that got money? They want more money. No. Nah. I ain't on. never had no problem, baby. Let me tell you something. I I go with damn near anybody I really want to. Could mm -hmm. I approach them respectfully? Mm -hmm. And I always reproach them. Oh, Lord. Here you go. Yeah, Here comes the bankroll. Here comes. This is what make it all happen, right there. That's, that's what make it happen. This is what make it happen. If a man want to know how to meet a nice woman, how he meet her? With this. <laughs> First damn word come out your mouth. I got money. <laughs> but those not respectable women. I don't want no respect. I want some ass. <laughs> damn the respect. I want you to break down like a 12 gauge double barrel shotgun and show me what you're working with. But don't you want commitment? What? Go who? You go don't want to be committed. Shit. That's I want crazy. Fast and crazy. If you get a young woman, then you can't connect with her mentally. I don't want to connect with her mentally. I want me to you want to, I want to connect with her mentally. You want to. Connect with her physically. Physically and mentally. Your Damn right. mentally. I take a rubber band and wrap my I'm gonna get you a wallet, girl. I don't want no I'm gonna get you a little bit of wallet. Gucci. Gucci. Baby, please. Gucci can go to hell. Give me the money and I'll get some Gucci with the Gucci. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Do you pay or not? You gonna pay one way or the other? I don't get really give a damn. You know what I mean? When I I learned when I got my first job, my daddy told me, "Say, you know the reason you're working?" I said, "Yeah, basically why? What you talking about?" He said, "You working to buy what you want." Yeah. I said, "Buy what I want. Mm, I know what I want, so I better go to work. <laughs> I'm gonna show sure buy it. <laughs> Been buying it ever since I started working." Oh I, I, I pay up front. That way you don't have no bullshit. I don't want to marry. I ain't trying to meet your family. I don't give a damn if you got a killer in your family or a priest. I don't need to meet none of them. Bring your happy ass over here. It got on. Let me spank it and you go home. Uncle Earl, I've never heard you talk like that. I mean, that. I'm just telling for real. You know, just like I say, when I die, you don't need nobody saying that. Right. Oh, he was such a wonderful person. He would just tell him, say, this son bitch here enjoyed <laughs> life. He ran hoes. He ran women. Call him what you want. It don't make me no damn bitch. You know? Girl, girl. Oh, shit, girl, please. Girl, please.